Hey everybody, Doggy798 here. This is my thoughts on the future Dead Man movie and of course the fu future Justice League Dark movie which are both being directed by Guillermo del Toro and, um, and are both set in the same universe. This is the Justice League Dark universe. I'm going to start off with Dead Man. It was either 2008 or 2009. I heard that a Dead Man movie and television series were in development. Still kind of disappointed that five to six years later there's still no development on either of those. There's still not much really development on either of those own um, projects but Warner Brothers and Gildemo Del Toro said they will um, get made and I am really happy to hear that Dead Man is coming to the um, big screen because I'm sick of DC taking chances um, playing it safe and not taking chances with any other heroes and just playing it safe and keep focusing on Batman and Superman. I'm happy to hear that they're trying to bring more heroes to the screen. Dead Man. Dead Man is one of my all time favorite superheroes. Really underrated character in my opinion. In my opinion. I'm really happy to see him featured um, in a film that is being directed by Guillermo del Toro who says it's going to be a, a crow as film. I love the crow. So seeing a Dead Man film like that Man, it's gonna be awesome, man. Next. Ne ne so, um, yeah. And, um, the next one, of course, is the Justice League Dark movie. For those of you who don't know, Justice League Dark is a, um, comic book that, that, that was created in 2011 when DC, you know, relaunched everything, relaunched everything and started everything anew. This was a comic book featuring darker and edgier edgier superheroes in a more darker version of the Justice League. Guillermo del Toro will, says he will be directing his own version of that same comic. The comic book features some of the members I'm about to talk about here and several other members I've never heard of. The members in Gilda, that's supposed to appear in Gildemore's movie are Dead Man. Dead Man, like I said, I love Dead Man, underrated superhero. The Spectre, Swamp Thing, Constantine, the Phantom Strangers, Zatanna, Zatara, Saragon the Sorcerer, and Etragon the Demon. Um, not familiar with the Phantom Strangers, Zatanna, Zatara, or Zargon the Sorcerer, but I am hugely familiar with Etragon the Demon. I first saw him in Justice League. Years ago, and I instantly became a fan of his character, and I loved his portrayal and characterization in Batman: The Brave and the Bold. Next, next, like I said, I'm a huge fan of Dead Man. Been a huge fan of him since Justice League. Underrated superhero, Spectre. He appears in a comic book I I have called Justice Society, and I've done heavy research him on Wikipedia. Finally, happy to see him outside of his um comic book. The only show I think he's appeared outside of his comic book was Batman: The Brave and the Bold. In one of the more popular episodes, the night the night Bruce Wayne Batman was unmasked, was unmasked and found his killer, found his parents' killer. Um. Um. Next is um Constantine. Constantine. I don't know much about Constantine, but I am familiar with the character. Keanu Reeves, Neo from The Matrix, starred in a movie in 2005, centered around this character, Constantine. Um. And of course, the Swamp Thing. The Swamp Thing. I've always heard of this character as a joke, as a joke. But, but I finally got introduced to this character through another superhero, the Toxic Avenger. The Toxic Avenger. And so, yeah, I would love to get more into that franchise. We're gonna talk more about the Swamp Thing later. Con and then, of course, like I said, I don't know the Phantom Strangers, the Tana, the Tora, or Zarga, and the Sorcerer, but. I'm all for this film. I'm all for this Justice League Dark um universe universe man. Um, and I would love to check out those comic books on um, too. But um, yeah, this was my thoughts on um Gildemo del Toro's um Justice League Dark universe. The only thing I the only problem I have with Gildemo del Toro is that he's an awesome director. One of my favorite directors is that he has so many things on his project. He has so many projects up hand how how will these two get made and how long will it take for these to get made all right um dug out i'll give more information on both of these when more information becomes available
Thank mm-hmm. you.